Hello students. Now we'll discuss about the next part of the short questions. The first question is name the structure which are of adult size at birth. Now there are five structures which are of adult size at birth. First is the tympanic cavity, tympanic membrane, mastoid antrum, ear ossicles that is malleus incus stapes and internal ear. Now meaning of this question is that these five structures are uh, of constant size throughout the whole age of an individual. It is not going to increase in the respect of the growth of an individual. Then the next question is why fracture of neck femur is an emergency. The head of femur receives blood from the branches of medial circumflex femoral artery that is a major source of the blood supply and these branches ascend from the lateral side along the neck of femur. So when there is a fracture of the neck these vessels are damaged and it will lead to the avascular necrosis that means there is a no blood supply. You know that there is a one more source of the blood supply that is known as acetabular branch of the obturator artery which is present in the round ligament of the femur but this is not sufficient to sustain the viability of femoral head. So whenever you have this question you have to write down that there is a Torning of all the blood vessels occurs with the fracture of the neck and that is the emergency otherwise it will lead to the avascular necrosis of the head of femur. Then in this diagram you can see that these are the blood vessels which are passing through the anterior surface of the neck of femur. So when this will get fractured these artery will rupture. Here you can see that this is the round ligament where you will have the acetabular branch of obturator artery. The next is why flyel chest is associated with paradoxical respiration. So first we will see what do you mean by the flyel chest. Now in this diagram if suppose one side of the ribs if get fractured at multiple sides. Here I fractured this rib at these two sides. Now this area between these two red lines become flyel segment. What does mean what is the meaning of flyel segment that now this part of the chest cavity is become free. Now what will happen because it is free from both the side it will show the reverse action with the respiratory movement. So you can see in the previous slide that when there is a fracture of one or more ribs occur the segment is become flyel and this fracture occur if on both the side of the sternum then sternum can, will also become the flyel. Now what is the problem is that this segment is disconnected from rest of the chest wall. So this part will show inward or sucked in during the inspiration while it show outward movement on expiration. That means it is a paradoxical respiration because generally what will happen when you will have the inspiration the chest wall move outside not inside and in, in, in expiration the chest wall move inside but here this segment is showing the reverse action that is known as paradoxical respiration. Now the next question is which layer of scalp is the safety wall hematoma. Now if the fracture of the cranial vault is associated with the tearing of the dura mater and per pericranium then and then you will have the safety wall hematoma. So what will happen if you will see the layers of the scalp now these are the five layer then you will have the bone. Inside the bone this is the pericranium and deep to the pericranium there is a dura mater. So what happened in this condition that this layer is ruptured, this inner endosteal layer or the pericranium ruptured, there is a fracture in the bone. Now what will happen, whatever the blood is there, this blood will come out and it will get into this fourth layer. So what is the advantage that the blood is not accumulating inside. So the uh, pressure symptoms on the cerebrum will not appear till this space will not fill with the blood. That's why it is acting as a safety wall. So what will happen in case of the blood from the intracranial hemorrhage communicate with the sub aponeurotic space that means the fourth layer of the scalp through the line of fracture. So the sign of cerebral compression do not develop until the sub aponeurotic space is full of blood. Therefore the collection of the blood in fourth layer is known as safety wall hematoma. So this is all for 